Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome to AM Dynasty, the podcast. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to AM Dynasty, the podcast and the show. Appreciate having you here this time and every time. This is going to be a rare occurrence where where we're going to be going live on the audio platform as well as the video platform. So definitely appreciate you joining us in the Appreciate having you here on 8M Dynasty, the podcast and the show. Uh, we got a special guest in here uh, today. He's a uh, Bay Area Bay Area native, and um, well, he's been out in Bay Area for since almost black and white TV. And um, you know, we're going to be talking about a subject matter that's actually kind of close and, and personal. To me, if you're from uh, the Oakland, San Francisco Bay Area, you should be aware of uh, Glide Foundation and Cecil Williams and Janice Williams. Uh, For those of you not in the Bay Area and uh, aware, uh, Cecil Williams and Janice Williams, uh, I'm not sure how many years, decades ago, but created a foundation, a church that has really supported the community over the last uh, four or five decades, and was really involved in the movement back in the 70s, and since then built an organization that's internationally known and well known in the Bay Area, where they provide a lot of services uh, for the less fortunate, and they uh, have been all inclusive over the decades, providing services, food, shelter, um, and just all kinds of how ho- uh, the housing, employment for the less fortunate out here well uh recently this uh legend this icon cecil williams passed away he was uh to the best of my understanding he was 90 years old and he built one heck of a legacy uh for people to try to to build on uh, with the glide foundation and um we attended the services the memorial services this just this past weekend it was an honor and a pleasure for me to be there and at attend to pay my respects um for cecil williams and for the glide family and um and so we're going to do a podcast and, and follow us don't forget to follow am dynasty on all of our social media platforms including uh our audio platforms on spotify apple radio and just so many different audio platforms as well as don't forget to follow us like share subscribe to us on youtube fan base Patreon, as well as several other streaming platforms. Today, we're joined by a guest who is actually older than me. He's actually is a a activist who was extremely active um, back early on here in the 1970s, the movement, Panther movement, the Bay Area local political movement, which, of course, really did a lot to uh, you know, the Bay Area in San Francisco always has always been historically done a lot to shape and frame the narrative of this country and trying to cause positive um, changes. Um, you know, what they say what happens in California happens around the country where the Bay Area it would be considered the tip of the spear in those efforts. And our guest on here has been an integral part of that movement. He uh, saw and ran with and assisted in some of the who's who who's done a lot of these good works from the Bay Area in the past, and he's here to join us today. For now, we just call him Mister, and he can uh, introduce himself. Um, you there, Mister? Can you hear us? Yes, sir, I can. All right, good, excellent, good to have you here. So, you and I were talking here over the last uh, week or week or two since uh, Cecil Williams' pa- uh, passing. Uh, Cecil Williams of Glide Foundation, and I, w- I just wanted to kind of ask you what were some of your thoughts. You know, I really brought you on here to kind of express to the viewers and listeners the impact of you having been around 
uh, the Bay Area, specifically San Francisco, and a lot of the politics here on the ground level. I know you were, you know, a lot of, of well-known national politicians who now, but they weren't national politicians back then when you were coming up. But I know you went to to school with a lot of politicians, and you ran. And you were very active back in the day. I remember you being on TV back in the day in the 1970s, kind of pushing for uh, our people. Uh, black people to to gain strides here nationwide. What do you remember over the last forty years? How Glide has gotten really big now as a San Francisco institution. What do you really remember as far as Cecil and Janice Williams building up this major legacy, this icon of an organization that they've built over this time? Um, you know, keep in mind some of our viewers and listeners. Or they don't really know much about what's been going on, much about the intricacies of San Francisco Bay Area politics and the impact of Glide and the impact of this legendary icon, Cecil Williams. What do you recount? They give us some of your memories on the legend himself and the organization. Well, first, well I want to offer my condolences to the uh, Cecil Williams family. Um, uh, I want to get that expression out there. But I've been knowing Cecil Williams for about 50 years now. He both came in the, in the 70s. I came from Indiana, uh, a school in Indiana. And I, uh, Cecil Williams came from, uh, I think he was incarcerated perhaps. But anyway, he was a very, very determined person. He was a very uh, a radical type person. He wanted to see things get done. So that I, so I, I was a certain admire this guy, but he learned rather quickly in the Bay Area. Uh, you have to use a little bit of uh, charm and, and smoothness to get things done. So he went from a hot air to a, a, a big player on the stage of the Bay Area in terms of getting things done. So that's the reason why I really cherish and miss him because I used to volunteer. I should actually get ticket tickets for not having the, uh, my light busted off uh, the old, old car that I was driving. I had to actually do my work for at, at that Memorial Church. First, I thought it was just a hustle. But once I got there, I, I could felt the spirit. The spirit was, you know, this is no hustle, man. People here, we're trying to get things done. So at that point, I began to really, I really, really rush, rush the fact that I was able to volunteer at that Memorial Church. A couple of times over the years, I went down there and had lunch and uh, Christmas dinner with them and whatnot. See where they been doing some great thing. Of course, at that time period, his, his reputation grew and grew and grew. And now it's just like legendary. Anybody, anybody, anybody knows uh, Glad Memorial Church. They did a, a lot of great things for a lot of great people. Speaking of that, you just actually just spoke on something that uh, uh, people may not be aware of nationally and internationally but it just brought to my attention exactly when you said you went down there you had a meal for one of the holidays exactly what are what is glide foundation that cecil williams and dennis williams have built exactly what do they do on the holidays do you do something annually from the holidays what's what, what do they do on their holidays you said you went down there and had a meal what does that signify yeah i should drive back i should see people standing in line that's a question, the proverbial question. Why are people standing in line? And lo and behold, they're waiting to get some hot food cooked at Glad Memorial Church Foundation. And I began to say, wow, this, is, this guy's really doing something. I mean, that was just not just one year, that was every year. But he also fed them other, other meals. He's one, one of the, the, the big time players down, down there that, that really, really genuinely like. People, people of color, people that are trying to uh, survive and whatnot. So he, he made a lot of services, like you said, jobs, uh, volunteer work. I didn't volunteer, volunteer down there a couple of times, like I told you before, and I found out that this, this was no joke. This was a real, real deal. I could feel the vibrations. This is something that he, that he was doing that was for real. Like a lot, a lot of people. I know I had many connections with the African African American Society. Uh, and other black groups, and so we all refer to Cecil Williams as the man. Mm -hmm. He had many connections, and so forth and so on. He could make things happen. So that's why I always remember him because he made a lot of things happen, and he was genuine about doing doing that. 
it was a lot of people down there at the memorial service that I saw yesterday. Some who I can't uh, name remember. I think it was a Joan Baez was there. Um, one of my per personal favorite, uh, uh, especially as far as politicians is gonna is are, is concerned, is Barbara Barbara Lee. Um, I actually yeah. live in her her district, and um, a lot of people have a, a lot of good things to say. Renell Renell from Old School Cameo and the San Francisco legendary ex San Francisco Giants announcer and radio host out here, well known in the Bay Area, was here. Um, and I will say so. You know, uh, Glide, as you were just saying, they actually feed the less fortunate. They feed the homeless and people who are, and you know, once again, Glide Memorial Church and Cecil Williams was was were featured in the well-known movie The Pursuit of Happiness with uh, Will Smith and Will Smith's son. And by the way, the gentleman who was the, I forget his name, he was the actual real gentleman, gentleman who that happened to in that movie, he actually was there at the services and he spoke at the services as well. Um, oh. So if you want to know who Cecil Williams is and a little bit about what God does, um, just look at that movie, The Pursuit of Happiness. Cecil Williams is the preacher who's preaching in that film, as well as he was the one that um, allowed Will Smith's movie character and Will Smith's son movie character to get food and shelter at that critical part of being alive. And that's one of the things, that's only one of the things that's extremely significant of what of what Glide does, an example that it has set out here in, in the, um, the Bay Area over these decades. So Glide Memorial Foundation, the Glide Church, they feed, um, they have basically a daily, what's called the Daily Free Meals Program. It's yes. the Daily Free Meals Program. And every, most of them are from the Bay Area. If you're just from San Francisco, you definitely know about this, as well as the rest of the Bay Area. They've been doing it for decades. And they serve, if you can believe it or not, which is amazing, three meals a day. Yes. Every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every single day of the year. And there may be a couple of days a year where they just do maybe a breakfast or a lunch, but there's man, maybe, if if only, maybe one day a year that they don't serve a meal. And I could be wrong about that because they do it every single day, rain, sleet, and snow, holidays, non-holidays. And usually for Thanksgiving and Christmas, they have a big uh, a big bash um, as far as they, they close down the street and they really make people who are, you know, they say that during the holiday season is when most people who are, are in an unfortunate situation um, or down, um, whether financially or just mentally, psychologically, that's when they commit suicide during the holiday. During the holidays is, I think, when most suicide victims commit suicide during the holiday. Either they're missing their family or they don't really have financial resources, have gone through a lot of traumatic experiences. And Glide has been extremely instrumental in being like a family away from family, uh, another family for people in that time where they serve food. And they have music going and provide, if anything, it kind of feeds you and pick up your spirits for a certain amount of time during that, that time of the year where people want to feel cared about the holiday season. So Glide, seven days a week, 365 days a year, thereabouts, they provide three meals a, a day, break, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, and the major part is, in the kitchen itself, I was surprised to see how clean it was. That's absolutely correct. Very, very, very clean. That's absolutely correct. Well, the one thing that I've noticed about Glide, and that which I respect what Cecil Williams and, and, and Janice Williams have built up, Glide is extremely thorough in hiring good people. So that's a, that goes into the second thing that I've observed that they do as well. And I know you know a, little, a, lot, a lot more about this than me, is that they give... Um, you know, in meeting the, the Glide staff, they give um, uh, one of the few, um, uh, I want to say, I guess, nonprofits, organizations that, that, that give like second chance opportunities to people who may have had um, less than great backgrounds, people who've had uh, criminal backgrounds, people who probably went through all different kinds of abuse. Uh, family abuse, just abuse in society, people that's drug abuse. So they've actually, uh, a lot of the staff, and I've met a lot of the staff, 
a lot of great people. I've met staff, multiple staff members that's like, you know what, man, I used to be out here, right here. And where's, 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 it's funny because where Glide is located, which is amazing, it's not in the rich area. It's not in the area where you would think it's not needed, where it's just rich people. It's in the heart, pretty much of the hood. <laughs> it's exactly where it's needed most. The, the location is central to that, where it's needed most in a community that that really, I can definitely vouch, they, they definitely need um, not a, a, a pretty much assistance. You know what I mean? Not a hand out, but a hand up. And so, um, a lot of the people was like, hey, man, I've been at Glide's been around here, so we say since forever. It's been around here for so long. I've met so many people that's right there from that community that's been recovered, um, drug addicts, re recover, uh, that's been previous felons involved with criminality and things of that nature. And then you wouldn't, these people, you would never guess that that was their background because they have completely done a 180 thanks to the tone that Glide has said. You wouldn't know unless you were in a conversation with them, which I've had. And I was just so shocked. Multiple people. They hire people with those backgrounds, and, and you know, a lot of people take extreme. They take advantage of the second um, that 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 chance that glides extended. So that's another thing that they do as well. Um, have you noticed that in your time? Your time. Um, well, well, I noticed. I noticed one thing that I, I, I tried glide on. They start. Everyone the first nonprofits to pay people a living wage. And that's another thing right there. That's another thing, uh, an organization that pay people. And we're talking literally in the heart of San Francisco, one of the most expensive places to live in California, if not the world. Um, you know, they they pay people a living wage. They advocate that one thing. Another thing about Glide is they don't discriminate. They're all inclusive, no matter what your, your gender, sex, ethnicity, financial status. They're all inclusive. Um, any other type of bias that may be out there, they're all inclusive. And they and they pride themselves on that as far as being all inclusive, everybody's family. And they just really um they give out that air about itself. You know, they're extremely active in um social justice. You know, um recently here over uh, last year and heading into this year, you know, California is finally moving towards giving reparations to uh, uh black people and glide has actually been instrumental in that from the standpoint of hosting meetings between i think so california itself is working on reparations san francisco is is actually discussing i'm not sure where they're at with it right now uh, with the mayor's office in the city but i know that glide has been instrumental in allowing talks between the community and representatives, specifically Secretary of State's office, um, talks between that office and um, the community as far as moving the dialogue forward. And so um, they're involved in things like um, um, just all kind of things, housing, they assist with offering housing, you know, um, jobs, food, jobs, shelter. Um, so it's just really a legendary to the what they've um, built up, what Cecil and Janice Williams and the Glide family has built up to this point is actually pretty awesome, pretty amazing. And like I said, everyone knows about uh, Glide and its impact out here. And they've um, just done a lot of good. Um, what, what kind of things can you think of that Glide has been a part of going back 40 years or so as far as the kind of movements and efforts? What are some of your, um, just some of the things that you recall uh, Mr. As far as um, I, I know that Glad has been a, 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 a vocal center for a lot of actors. They get in there, they're opening these church to uh, move for different types of things. But I don't know, we just didn't have and so forth and so on. So a lot of people tell me those people. Well, so that's what attracted me here in California. I saw the people were very uh, advanced in suffering of their rights. Right. I'm like, why a lot of people just like, give up on you and say, well, that's how we put up any kind of cost because it's going to be the same thing again and again. She's taught us to do, don't never accept no. Right. They can always change. Just keep walking on that road. 
guarantee you tomorrow will be a better day. And I think that the work with, with the volunteer procedure, I think it's that a lot of times is, 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 is changing well. It's where people can make more more sensitive or sensitive. I was trying to treat the sick people doing uh, you know, all kind of things, the sick son of drug, two, one, another, whatever. And they came inside the church here. Right. They become less serene, calm. Everybody try to get along, no matter what, what level you were on. I enjoyed sharing Christmas dinner. We were very, very friendly with the person. Somebody needs to work with like this is a really, uh, uh, a timeout situation. You can take showers, uh, hot meals, and so forth and so on. Then they also provide it as a, a, a civic center point. Then they go to the Yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, that, and that's another thing you you're absolutely I agree with you wholeheartedly, one hundred percent. It's funny because um, it's just like a reverence around that place. People who they may be acting out in the streets or doing this or that, but everybody kind of gives that place kind of the ultimate respect whenever they get close to it, whenever they go to it. It's your ultimate respect to the workers. Uh, Glide, they also give away. I've seen people go there and they're like, hey man, um, like I need socks. I need a blanket. And I mean in the middle of winter time, you know, once yeah. again, Glide hires excellent people. I don't know how they do it. I mean, I, I they just have a knack for finding real humane people. People who um and I guess you know they also hire they hire real people. They hire real people that's gone through real circumstances but want to change their life for the better. So, when yeah. they, you know, so they give an opportunity for those who want to give back and be a positive instrument to the community. They hire those people. And I guess that's what kind of makes it to where it's um, compassion, the compassion that they show when dealing with other people that's going through it. I've seen people come by, ask for uh, clothes, ask for blankets in the wintertime, ask for socks. If God have it, has it, they give it to them. Another thing yeah. that they do is they have an after school program or maybe not it's not after school it's actually like a daycare so yes for yeah. people who are I guess women or people who go to work go to work during the daytime and they you know it's very expensive out here in california guys if you didn't know and you're not in california <laughs> if you have a small child going to um going to like after school or or daycare programs Man, that's almost the price of a, uh, an, uh, an apartment probably down south or Midwest or somewhere else. I mean, it is extremely expensive. Um, you talk to parents, young parents, parents who have uh, have to pay for daycare. I guess that was even featured in that in that one movie, um, the pursuit of the pursuit of happiness. I don't know if they were at the Glide School. I don't. As a matter of fact, they weren't. But daycare is is a is a for somebody that's especially single parents. But even if there is two parent households to afford daycare while, you know, we're living in a society today where both parents got to go to work. Most families can't, have, the cost of living is not the same like in our, um, like in my grandparents' time where one person, the father could go to work and the mother could stay home and raise the children. Um, I don't know when it was like that in California, but it takes both parents to go to work and that's just to be able to make a living wage. And so when you throw on the price of daycare nowadays, it's almost a backbreaker. You know, they become uh, the reason why a family can't really get ahead. So God Glide actually provides those services for, um, I'm not sure what it's called, it's called the uh, Glide Family and Youth Care Center. It's the Glide Family, Youth, and Care Center. But, but they also offers a leadership training for people that want to be maximize uh, their career or whatever. You know, some of the volunteers they'd be using. Yeah. They were able to get that car to land up inside the Bible or like, uh, Christmas dinner, whatever. They may be acting up, but the, the, the volunteer, they didn't handle every situation there smoothly, non violently. The people, people respect, respect that. A lot of people said, cut the line. A lot of people said, no, you can't do that. Get to the end of the line. You're, you're a good sir. Just get to the end of the line. Right. 
see, they use any nonviolent resolution training. Right. Absolutely. Like to keep your volunteers out of handle uh, a, 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 a ziggy ziggy situation that's going on. Right. People cut the line, people try to bug other older people right. and so forth. Yeah. Yeah. People watching the line, make sure everybody get their meal on time, check out the way. And then when you get inside there, the place is so clean. And I'm sure that you, you volunteer inside there, you could be good. I mean, <laughs> look good. Mm-hmm. Smell good. I look good. Mm-hmm. I enjoy myself. I, I, I got a place to go every year now. I ask for a place to go. Absolutely. Well, I know, That's how good it is. Well, I noticed, I noticed uh, one thing. They treat people like people. Their emphasis is heavily on, um, you know, on the... Um, the guest guests and make sure we they said hey you know um what i was told you know each meal would be basically uh, uh each meal will probably be the only time throughout the day where a person can kind of get a respite from whatever stuff they're going through in their life it could be the only time of the day where they can really feel like a human and feel like they could get um respect that a human being deserves and that's just something to keep in mind as far as the impact of this place. And I'll tell you, like when I went to the ceremony, it was packed. And I mean, it was so packed they had to have the whole street blocked off outside with chairs. And that's that's where I was sitting. And the thing that was interesting, I was sitting next to a lady and heard people saying, and one lady turned around and said, you know what? She was like, uh, I think she was listening to whoever was talking on the screen. She was like, oh, that's that's such a sense. She's like, yeah, I haven't been here in a long time, but she was basically expressing how Glide helped her um, get clean. She's like, I've been clean for this many years. And when the lady said that, I was looking like, I would have never guessed that. This lady looks, you know what I mean? She's like, she was, <laughs> you would have never guessed. She was like, right. like, all her stuff together. She's like, hey, I'm out of here for respect. Like, she was just saying it like, hey, I'm in here. I haven't, oh, I haven't seen this place in years. I haven't seen that person for many, many years since I was a client here uh, recovering. I was like, whoa, you, but that's not an amazing case. You see that, hear that all the time. From some of the staff to uh, some of and a lot of the people who are there, uh, you guys just receive services or to volunteer or to volunteer. That's which is leads me to another thing that they do. They get a lot of volunteer staff every day um, to assist with serving the meals to the um, clients. As well as, uh, I'm not sure all of the volunteer services that they get, but they get a lot of volunteers in around the city. One time I met some people there that actually claimed came to Glide that weren't, um, where they, I think they, well, I've met people there at Glide that came from uh, Texas and from around the country. Groups of people. I think I met a, some, a, a, some people, young people, and I'm looking like, what, what, hold on, where are you guys coming from? Oh, we're coming from like Maine or somewhere. I met people there that came there internationally. I think last year, Glide's staff, from what I hear, went to like Alabama to like the Civil Rights, uh, I think it was either the Civil Rights Museum or Memorial or something like that. Right. They do a lot of things that's actually, it would be surprising if I weren't familiar how Glide operates. And I think to anybody, that's why we're doing this podcast presentation out of respect to bring more awareness to what they have built. And what they're doing now and where they're taking this organization in, in the future, which I think is uh, very positive. But they do a lot of things that would actually surprise you if you're not um, not too I actually 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 do volunteer for the homeless advocacy program called HAP. And also I, I, I was also a counselor for under Judge Daniel Weinstein if you were on court. And what they, what would you do? Sometimes we get these cases, we we'll refer them to Glad Memorial the, the volunteers, like said, for the burn property. Most kids go there, and most adults go there, it's a hustle. And people come there and kill your There's a lot of black, black, black changing uh, situations that go on there. Sometimes people come back and be back and say, well, I think it's going to be a hustle, but Going out department, you feel like Daniel Wayne is saying, could you refer to the uh, the 
Second chance. That's the thing I love about Glad. You got a chance to get a second chance a lot of times if you want to. All you do is ask for it. It's for everything. Oh, so I love that. I, love that. Like that. I didn't know they did that. See, that's a new one on me. I didn't know, you know, like you say, it's too many things to name what they uh, that uh Glide does. I didn't even know that right yeah. there, but I'm not shocked. Yeah. And see, that just goes to show how far back you I guess you go with Glide as far as um your advocacy your advocacy to um humanity basically um and and forwarding well we, 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 we learned to use all the black resources in the community Yeah, along that line. Well, there's a lot of hope here. And there's a lot of hope here. Yeah, yeah, Like I said, like I said before, I thought this a hustle. You know, this is a real deal, the real deal, only feel. I can respect that. That's why I say, since it was one of them, a few men in the area that I can really respect from top to bottom, that he was about it. The real deal, only feel. Even him and his wife both. Well said. And, uh, well said. Well said. Um, I would definitely say Glide does accept donations. As a matter of fact, I think they're ran primarily off of donations. Yes. So I would definitely advocate for anybody. I would advocate for them for anybody to um, donate to the Glide Foundation family uh, for the work that they do. If if you um, are able to 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 donate your um, financial resources, your time, or your efforts to help such a classy first class organization that's actually out here doing good in the community and they have the resume to prove it. So it's not a fly by night brand new organization. Uh, they have the resume to prove it. Um, and the resume is the people. So uh, I would definitely advocate for, uh, for Glide to uh, get your donation in whatever form you can you can uh, you can give, whether it be financially, your time, your services. Um, you know, they get uh, clothes and like blankets and socks. They get all, all kinds of donations. Um, they also accept food too. They accept food as well. They accept food as well. I, I would imagine. I don't. I don't know about that, but I'm sure that they do. It's it's a it's a um, nonprofit organization. I'm pretty sure. So. I would just definitely advocate for anybody to to uh, to go research for Glide to give them a donation when when and where you can, um, you know. And I would just totally advocate for them, you know, uh, from the vendors to the employees to um, the community. They are all inclusive. They are all inclusive. They don't they don't discriminate for regardless of what your um, what part of what part of life that you're coming from whether you know for whatever they just like right. if you're positive they're gonna match your energy and, and, I, and like you said i just could only i can only respect it i mean what more could you ask for especially once again hey we're in a society where it's um it's extremely expensive here there's lots of people that that people that go through a lot of different things there's lots of carnage to um a situation where you know um there's lots of um, 
infested with drugs, infested with high cost of living, uh, incarceration, and a bunch of other different things going on. So uh, mental illness. So there's, um, you know, it's good to know that there's some um, uh, a gathering place for forward thinking people and, and positive people and people that actually want to contribute in a positive way to kind of like assist some of the ills in society and um, our home, you know what I mean, which is the Bay Area. And that's the organization that Cecil and Janice Williams started out. So it was definitely an honor and a pleasure to go there and, and show my respect and support for the whole Glide family and, um, you know, um, honor Cecil Williams' life um, and his wife who passed away uh, not too long ago, I think a year or two ago, Jen. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was definitely somewhere where I had to be. And this is right here, this 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 podcast presentation is something that I have to do, I have to do for me, you know what I mean, to show my respect. So, you know, it's definitely my pleasure and an honor to do exactly that. I wanted to bring you on, mister, because I know you go back and you have been involved with um, your, you know, your contribution over the last 40, 50 years in trying to make um, a better change for pretty much society. Well, thank, thank, thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So with that, like I said, guys, we won't be too long, but we definitely wanted to be strong in our support for uh, Cecil Williams. Um, his memorial was this past week. Well, this past weekend is passing the, the the memorial celebration, which was an absolute success. It had you you know just I'm sure national, international, local, you know, the who's who of of who the who's who was there. Um, I, it was awesome to see all those people speak. Up. Willie Brown, Willie Brown spoke. You know, saying Mayor Willie Brown, he spoke. He was yeah. there. Um, the known, affectionately known as the mayor, <laughs> the uh, mayor of San, previous mayor of San Francisco, the current mayor um, of San Francisco was there speaking. It was, um, you know, just a, a, the who's who of the who's who was there to pay respect for this awesome, uh, legendary figure in his uh, life celebration and um, to show respect for what he's built, which is the the Glide family that's still moving along and pushing this organization um, even even further in a positive direction. So, you know, um, kudos to him, kudos to them. And we, we still look forward to continued greatness in the future. And, um, you know, as we stand on the shoulders of giants and, and trying to do some positive things for Bay Area life, for humanity in general, for the city of San Francisco and just the whole damn Bay Area. So with that, thanks, mister, for joining us. Uh, anything you want to say in closing before we get out of here on this AM yeah. Dynasty production? Yes, I want to say uh, thank you for having me again. And the second thing I want to say is uh, your Glad Memorial Foundation. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Love you, love you always. Hey, guys, if and when you can, go check out uh, Glad Memorial in San Francisco's website or try to connect with them personally, see if you can contribute a, a love donation of your time, of your financial resources. I'm pretty sure all donations are um, will be well received. Um, once again, we just spoke on all the many types, forms of donations that I'm sure they accept. Just uh, contact them directly and uh, see how you can contribute to a good cause as well. And, uh, you know, be a part of uh, positivity in, in the movement. So with that, we appreciate you for joining another AM, AM Dynasty, the podcast and program here live streaming, streaming live on YouTube, uh, fan base, Patreon, and the audio, uh, the audio podcast on several streaming podcasts near you. So thanks again for joining us. Much respect to the Glide family. Much respect to uh, Cecil Williams. Tiso and Janice Williams, and um, you know we lost the legendary person. So thanks again for joining us. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot, family.
Nemesis. Nemesis.